Hello, I'm Clayton Chip Chase, and today I'm going to teach you about combinations and how to use them in a real life scenario. Um, to first start off, let's write some definitions. Okay, now that we got the definitions written, let's go over them. Combinations of items or arrangements in which different sequences of the same items are counted as being the same. And see, for this next definition, it says permutations. And I know what you guys are thinking, it's combinations, Clayton. But listen, permutations of items are arrangements in which different sequences of the same items are counted separately. So you can see that they are very similar. And for really understanding combinations, I think it is important to understand permutations. For example, if you take, the, take a look at the word cat, there's multiple ways that you can put these letters together to essentially make a new word. So for example, we could go C-T-A, we could go A-C-T, and we can go A-T-C, and we can go C-T-A, and we can, oh wait, excuse me, we can go T-A-C, and T C A. Okay, so back to these six different letter arrange arrangements. Each one of these, under the permutation definition, is counted as six different permutations. But under the combination definition, this is just counted as one combination. After analyzing these different letter arrangements, we understand that combinations are counting without replacement, and that order does not matter. All right, let's dig a little deeper into combinations. The total number of combinations of n subjects taken r at a time is denoted as ncr, or it can be c n over r, or nr. These are different notations, but these two right here are the most commonly used but let's focus on the formula for the real life scenarios. N rhetorical over N minus R rhetorical times R rhetorical is to how to solve your problem. Now that we understand the formula, let's take a look at some examples using the formula. So right here you see, you see that we have five, okay, or it's also known as five choose two. So that means we have five objects and we're choosing two. So our five is the n objects, and the two is our r. So using the formula, we got five rhetorical over five minus two rhetorical times two rhetorical. So then you get five rhetorical over three rhetorical times two rhetorical. So see here, we can cross out the three, two, and one on the five rhetorical, so we'll have five times four, and then we'll have two times one. Simplify, so that makes it 10. So for five choose two, we would have 10. For our second example, we have eight choose six. So we're gonna go back here, we're gonna go eight rhetorical over eight minus six rhetorical times six rhetorical. So seeing that we have eight rhetorical, over six rhetorical times two rhetorical. We can cross out all the rest up here, so we'll have eight times seven over two. So we can simplify, four times seven is 28. All right, let's take a look at some real life scenarios. Suppose 10 horses run a race, and you would like to know in how many ways three horses can finish in first, second, and third in any order. So now that we see that it's in any order, we know it's a combination because order does not matter. And so let's take a look. Say A, B, and C were first, second, and third. Horse A, horse B, and horse C. Well, say we bet on the same horses again, but the order is B, A, C. These are considered equivalent outcomes because we're still coming in first, second, and third, but it's a different order, so it doesn't matter. Now that we've looked at this, we understand that it's going to be 10 choose 3. So we got 10 horses, and we're choosing 3. So we got 10 
choose three. So now looking at the formula, we got 10 rhetorical over 10 minus three rhetorical times three rhetorical. After expanding that out, we understand that we can cancel because this is seven rhetorical, so we have 10 times nine times eight here, cancel out that, and then we'll have three times two. Then we'll simplify the two with the eight, make that a four, simplify the three and the nine, make that a three, and gives us 120 possible outcomes that we can get three horses to finish in first, second, and third in any order out of 10 horses. All right, so now that we've done this scenario, let's check out another scenario. This next scenario will involve playing poker. So for our last example, I use playing poker. I use this one because it's a little more complicated than the other questions. How many five card poker hands consisting of three aces and two cards that are not aces are possible with a 52 card deck? So now we're looking at that. We know it's in select three aces out of four aces and two cards out of 48 because we're taking out the four aces from the 52 card deck. So now looking at this, we understand that it is four choose three from this times 48 choose two. So we have four chances and we're choosing three and then we have 48 possibilities and we're choosing two. So now seeing that, we basically just put in the formula and then we'll multiply them. So we have four rhetorical over four minus three rhetorical times three rhetorical times 48 rhetorical over 48 minus two rhetorical and two rhetorical. So we're expand that, so we're gonna um, get four over one, so that's just four, times 48, so we're gonna have 48 times 47, because 48 minus two is 46 rhetorical, so we can cancel that out, and we'll have two right here. And then we could just simplify this and this, make that two, so 2 times 48 times 47 is equal to 4,512. And you guys can check that with your calculators, but I have done it freehand. And so this is basically it, and I hope you guys have a great understanding of combinations. Thank you.